want to talk this morning about <clears throat> the hope of seeing change in your life. Is there anybody here who needs a change in any area? Well, you know, a lot of people in the world are hopeless. Jesus didn't die for us so we could be hopeless. He died for us so we could be hopeful, full of hope. Matter of fact, Dave and I talk about this often. We believe a lot of people are trying to have faith. They don't even have hope. See, hope is the happy anticipation that something good is going to happen in your life. It's expecting something good. What are you expecting? Some of you haven't even thought about it. I mean, you're just really not expecting nothing, so you're getting what you're expecting. <laughs> Or maybe you're expecting a little bit, so you're getting a little bit. I always say I'd rather believe for a whole lot and get half of it than to believe for a little bit and get all of it. It doesn't cost you any more to believe for a lot than it does for a little doesn't cost anything to have hope but it does cost you a lot if you're hopeless because everything in your life begins to be down 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 hope is a favorable and a confident expectation it has to do with the unseen and it has to do with the future see the devil wants you to believe that what you have now is what you'll always have Especially if you've got something bad. Now, if you've got something good going on right now, then he'll tell you that this will never last. But if you've got something bad going on, he'll tell you this will never change. <laughs> We need to remember the devil's a liar. But God wants us to believe that no matter what's going on right now, it can change. We need to understand today that everything is changeable except God himself. And God cannot change. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. God is good. That's the end of the story. There's nothing else to say. And so when we let God into our lives, we're bound to end up with good things happening. The Bible says he's got a good plan for us. He's got a good future plan for us. He gives us good gifts. God is good and the devil's bad. I can change. You can change. The other people in our life can change. Our finances can change. There's nothing that cannot change. Don't look at any situation and think this is hopeless. This will never change. The devil sends little demons to sit on our shoulders and whisper in our ears. This will never change. This will never change. You're never going to change. You're never going to change. Never gonna change. I'm never going to change. I'll never have any money. I'll never, 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 never. The never lies. When we say that God cannot change, that's a reference to the immutability of God. Malachi 3, 6 for, says, for I am the Lord, I change not. Hope is a joyful looking forward to change for the better. Hope is refusing to give up. Refusing to give up. When Jesus comes, I may not have arrived yet, but I'll tell you one thing, he's going to find me pressing on and pressing in. And believing for the best. I've been thinking a lot even this morning. It's like God's just been putting things in my heart about what's the point in having any kind of a negative critical attitude about anything? I mean, it doesn't do one bit of good. It doesn't help anything at all. And yet we have such a tendency to lean toward what's wrong and finding the fault. But we can change that attitude. Tomorrow afternoon we're going to talk about changing our mind and changing our attitude so we can have the best life that Jesus died to give us. Things can change. Everybody shout out real loud. Anything can change. Anything can change. Except God himself. Except we just have to keep hoping. Let me read you a story. Charles Darrow was a young man who lived in the early 1920s. And when he was 20 years old, he set a goal. I think it's good to have goals, don't you? A lot of people don't have any goals. They just kind of get up every day and wait to see what happens. They're not really expecting anything. They just get up every day and wait to see what happens. And 
you know, or if they've had a lot of disappointing things happen to them in the past, you can even get into a habit of fearing bad news where there's almost this, this sickening dread that hangs over your life where every time the phone rings, you think it's going to be another bad report or it's going to be something else that's going to disappoint you. You know, just because you've been disappointed a lot in the past, perhaps, don't let that control your future. Don't be afraid to hope just because you're afraid of being disappointed. I'd rather live with hope and never get anything to, than to live hopeless and never get anything. So the worst thing that can happen to you is you'll never get anything, and so you might as well hope that you will instead of being afraid you won't. Because the end result is I'm going to end up with nothing. I might as well be happy while I'm getting nothing. <laughs>